Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. So our article is all about some people using Instagram to do pretty cool things.、Uh, are you on Instagram, Elsie? Yes, but not a lot. Okay. Are you? I'm not.、Uh, my son has a page all of his own. Oh, okay. So、um, your son is on Instagram. Yeah, he's but not yourself. Exactly. I d- I don't need to be on Instagram. Nobody wants to see pictures of me, but more people want to see pictures and videos of my son. So how many followers does he have? Ah,、uh, maybe a hundred at this point. A hundred. Most, yeah, most of them are friends and family. But every now and again, like、um, he gets tagged using a particular kind of product or something,、oh. as you know, swimming thing or whatever. So the the companies follow, I think, out of courtesy、uh-huh. for a bit, something like that. I think I'm one of his followers. Are you his follower? Maybe、right. I'm not sure. I'll check it out later. Have to check him out.、Oh. Yeah, he's out there. Okay, so who is on Instagram today? It's not an eighteen-month-year-old, or he's nearly two now, nearly two-year-old boy. <laughs> It's much older people, and let's check out what they're doing in today's article. Reading. Taijong grandparents rock it on Instagram. Taichung is a busy city, but life is quiet in Holy District. Wan's Show Laundry in Holy has been in business for nearly 70 years. Recently, though, there's been a decline in customers and an increase in abandoned clothing. Reef Chang, grandson of the couple that owns the laundry, wanted to cheer up his bored grandparents, so he decided to make them an Instagram account. At first. Chang's grandparents, Chang Wanji and Xu Shouer, were nervous. After all, they felt awkward about wearing customers' clothes, even abandoned ones. But their grandson convinced them that they could help people see that fashion is for everyone. Now, 13 months since their first post, they are proud and excited to Instagram their cool new looks. Not only do they love doing it. The world also loves seeing their stylish clothing. As of March, they had over 650,000 followers. Reef says his grandparents want to tell elderly people to live every moment to the fullest. So we start by saying Taichung is a busy city, but life is quiet in Holy District. 今天呢，课文一开始说到啊，虽然台中是一个忙碌的城市，但是在后里区的生活却是平静清闲的。所以呢，像台中有后里区，台北有大安区、中山区，这个区域我们用 district 这个字。Okay, so next the article says. Want show laundry in Holly has been in business for nearly seventy years. Which is pretty good. It's been、mm. around a while. So the word laundry means the whole activity of washing clothes. If you say to someone, "I'm doing laundry," "I'm doing my laundry," "the laundry," it basically means you're washing, then drying, or putting away your clothes. The word laundry can also mean the clothes themselves or the activity, and we can also use it like here in the article to mean a. Business that cleans other people's clothes for them. Now, in the UK, we call these kinds of businesses a laundrette. L a u n d r e t t e. Now, this can mean、uh, one where there's actually people working and cleaning your clothes, or one that just has machines in them. In the UK, we also say the cleaners. I'm going to take these curtains to the cleaners. Maybe there's dry cleaning as well. In the US, people more often use laundromat. L a u n d r o m a t. Laundromat, and that's generally for ones that just have machines. Here's an example sentence. I'm going to take my bed sheets and towels to the laundry. 这里的 laundry 指的是洗衣店。那如果是自助洗衣店呢？美式的用法会说 laundromat。那再来洗衣服的动作，我们可以搭配 do 
do the laundry 就是洗衣服的意思啦。那这边的课文说到啊，后里的 Want Show 中文翻万秀，这个洗衣店呢，它已经营业快要七十年了。However, things changing here, and the article says recently, though, there's been a decline in customers and an increase in abandoned clothing. So we have a few words to look at in this sentence, starting with the adverb recently. Recently means not long ago. Now it's not an exact term. It could mean within the last few days, weeks, or maybe months, but certainly not a few years ago. We wouldn't say that was recently, unless we were saying something like in recent years, which just means the last one or two years. For example, we could say. The weather has been getting hotter recently, so I've started wearing shorts every day. So recently maybe means in the last week or two. Recently, 这个副词呢，代表的是最近。那这边呢，也是多和现在完成式搭配使用哦。所以我们的课文和 pet 给的单字例句都是，像是 There's been a decline in customers. 这个是课文里面的句子，它用到的是现在完成式。然后刚刚 Pat 说的 ，The weather has been getting hotter recently. 这个也是一个现在完成。好，再来。我们说到呢，然而啊，最近这家洗衣店遇上了一个问题。What kind of problem does this shop have? Well, there's been a decline in customers. A decline means a reduction in the amount or speed or size or something like that. It was higher, now it's lower. It was bigger, now it's smaller. So a decline in customers just means fewer people are coming to this laundry and using the business. Decline 这边当名词用哦，代表的是减少。所以我们说到 there has been a decline in customers， 代表顾客的人数是减少的。那我们也可以用 decrease 这个字。那相反，我们用 increase。That's right， and that's another word in the sentence. The opposite of a decline is an increase. Now this word can be a verb. To increase means to get bigger, faster, more of something. As a noun, an increase means the instance of this thing happening. Over time, something has gotten bigger or faster, and so on. For example, we could say, "There's been an increase in prices of some things in my local supermarket. I hope this doesn't continue." Basically, that just means things are getting more expensive. I have to pay more for them. Increase 这边是个名词，代表增加。所以呢，整理一下喽。我们刚刚说啊，减少用 decline 或是 decrease。我们可以说 a decline or decrease in something。那如果是增加的话呢，我们就可以说 an increase in something。And this increase has been in abandoned clothing, right? Right. Something that's abandoned has been left behind. Someone has decided they don't want it anymore, so they just leave it somewhere and go away. Sadly, many people abandon pets, and an old building might be abandoned if it's not safe to live there anymore. And what this sentence means is, people are just leaving clothes there. They may be sending them to be cleaned, but they're not coming to collect them. Abandoned 在这边当形容词用，代表被舍弃的。那它的动词形式是 abandon， 抛弃、舍弃。So, like Pat mentioned, please don't abandon your pets, right? 不要、mm. 抛弃你的宠物。如果你不要养了 ，you can take them to an animal shelter if you don't want to keep them anymore. Or just like don't get one、嗯、if you don't think you can keep it. 对，本来就不要去养，对不对？好，再来呢。课文这边说到的是呢，最近碰到的问题是什么？顾客人数减少，被遗弃的衣物增加。So these、uh, people who own this laundry probably don't have much to do, and we see in the article that Reef Jang, grandson of the couple that owns the laundry, wanted to cheer up his bored grandparents. So it's an old couple that looks after this, and their grandson wants to cheer them up. To cheer someone up means to make them feel happier, to improve their mood. Cheer somebody up 代表的是呢，使某人高兴或是振奋起来。So for example, we can say Janet looked sad yesterday, so we sent her a flower to cheer her up. 我们送她一朵花来让她高兴。Here, the grandson Reef wanted to cheer up his grandparents. Right, it's Reef's grandparents that own the laundry. 
Grandparents is the kind of group or couple word for grandmothers and grandfathers. They're people with children who have their own children. It's a generational word. So my parents are also grandparents because they have three grandchildren. That's the kids. If you've got a grandmother, you're a grandchild. Here's another example sentence. I only have one grandparent left. My mother's mother. Grandparents 指的是祖父母或是外祖父母，在英文当中没有分好，所以我们全部都是这个字 grandparents。那当然分开来，祖父祖母，我们说 grandpa 或是 grandma。那父母亲，我们用的是 parents。那如果是孙子孙女呢，我们会说 grandchildren。那分开来，孙子是 grandson， 孙女是 granddaughter。那课文这边呢、啊、，Reef Chan， 也就是这个经营洗衣店的夫妻的孙子，想要让他无聊的祖父母开心起来。But how? How did Reef cheer them up? The article says so. He decided to make them an Instagram account. So here we use the word account, and a, an account could be something in a bank. It's a computer file or a record of how much of your money the bank has and what's been happening to it. A computer account means your own personal Facebook, your own Instagram, and so on. Only you can use, and you can put whatever you want on it, and use it to interact with others. An account like this, so Facebook account, Instagram account, Twitter account, email account, will have your own password and login details. Here's an example. I used to have a Facebook account. But I stopped using it as there are too many ads on it. Account 这个名词呢，代表账户，像是 bank account 代表就是银行账户。那这边特别指的是网络账户哦，因为前面呢我们看到的是 an Instagram account 或是 a Facebook account。那再来呢？课文说到的是孙子决定帮他们开个 Instagram 账号，让他们不要无聊。Okay, and we see at first、uh, Chang's grandparents, and I'm going to apologize because I know I'm going to butcher their names in the pronunciation.、Uh, Chang Wanji and Shu Shou Er were nervous. I think how, you've got it. How was that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. 一开始呢，他的祖父们，祖父母们很紧张。Next, we see that after all, they felt awkward about wearing customers' clothes. Even abandoned ones. So, in Instagram, on、啊、they want to wear customers' clothes or customers' don't want to wear clothes. So, of course, they felt awkward. Of course, they felt awkward. Of course, they felt awkward. Yeah, that seems to be what they're doing with this Instagram account. They're dressing up. They're putting on some of the clothes that have been abandoned there, and kind of showing off some of these different styles and fashions and things that people have. So it's kind of like a fashion thing, right? But with a couple, an old, nice old couple wearing different kinds of clothes that people have left there. So、uh, they they felt awkward. They thought maybe we shouldn't do this. But as we see in the article. But their grandson convinced them that they could help people see that fashion is for everyone. So to convince somebody to do something means to use logic. You use reasons and you use your words. You get somebody to do something or kind of change their mind to think in a certain way. You kind of use your words to get them to believe, yeah, this is okay. This is a good idea. We should do this or at least try it. Convince 这个动词呢，代表的是使确信或是说服。所以，我们说啊 ，convince somebody to do something 代表就是说服某人去做某事。给同学们一个例句喽。For example, he tried to convince his parents to buy him a PS5, but he failed. 他试着说服爸妈买一台 PS5 给他，但是失败了。那再来呢，一个形容词给同学有说服力的叫做 convincing。What he said was not convincing at all. 代表他说的话一点都没有说服力。那课文这边说到的是啊，孙子 Reef 说服祖父母说，他们可以让人看见流行是每个人都可以驾驭的。
Okay, so they decided to go it. They thought, okay, yeah, our grandson's right. We can kind of help see that you know old people can enjoy fashion. Old people can wear fashionable clothes. It's not just for young people. And we see that now, thirteen months since their first post, they are proud and excited to Instagram their cool new looks. Quick note here: we are using Instagram as a verb. That's one of these things that kind of happens with technology over time. You Google something, even if Google, the company, doesn't like people to use it as a verb,、uh, and to Instagram something means to create it and get it ready and put it on Instagram. 没错，这边的 Instagram。它当动词用哦，代表的是在 Instagram 上面剖文。那中文说的剖文，剖文，其实英文里面我们用的字是 post。那现在啊，距离第一篇 post， 第一篇剖文已经是十三个月了。他们骄傲兴奋地展示他们的新样貌。And we see that not only do they love doing it, the world also loves seeing their stylish clothing. We use not only but also here. Uh, without the but, in this case, you can omit it, and we use not only but also to show that two things are true. And usually, in this structure, the second thing following the also is more surprising than the first. Today, English learning room, ah, we are going to see the not only the use. 如果你的 not only 放在句首，而且它又是连接子句的时候，那你就必须要用倒装句哦，像是本课的用法，在 not only 后方接上助动词或是 be 动词，再接主词。所以呢，我们课文说到的是啊，现在他们不但喜爱做这件事情，大家也爱看他们流行的服装。Right, and it's got very popular. We see, as of March, they had over six hundred and fifty thousand followers. We use as of to give the time or date when something was true or correct, but also to mean that things might have changed since then. Now we wrote this article back in March, but it's now July, so the grandparents likely have more followers now. As of 代表截至 ，as of March 代表截至三月，他们有超过六十万的追踪人数哦。And Reef, we see in the article, Reef says his grandparents want to tell elderly people to live every moment to the fullest. So elderly is a word; it's an adjective that means old. But you only really use it for people, not things like buildings or paintings. You don't say it's an elderly building. You would say it's an elderly person. You can use it for animals. An elderly dog or an elderly tree even makes sense. But for buildings and other things, you would use ancient instead. Here's an example using elderly. Elderly people don't have to pay as much to take the bus, use the MRT, or buy tickets to certain things. Elderly 这个形容词呢，通常用来形容人是上了年纪的老的，所以 elderly people 代表就是老年人。我们也可以用 the elderly 来总称他们。那 Reef 这边说啊，他的祖父母想要告诉其他上了年纪的人 ，live every moment to the fullest. Yeah, live every moment to the fullest, and to the fullest. Means to the greatest degree. You do everything possible. You make the most of the things you have, and you don't leave anything behind. You don't do anything less than one hundred percent. To the fullest. This phrase means to the fullest, to the fullest. 那所以呢，最后他说 ，live every moment to the fullest， 也是这对祖父母要告诉其他老年人的话，就是充分活你的人生。Yep, YOLO, no regrets, and all of that. Well, that's the end of the article. So let's now go to today's for you chat question. For you chat. Our question is, what do you think about your grandparents' sense of style? Okay, I think my grandparents have their own styles that I don't really understand. Okay, but still they look good, so I respect that.、Mm, my, I, the sentence I used earlier was true. I only have one grandparent,、mm-hmm. my grandma, and her sense of style is summer. 
Um, she loves the summer. She loves hot weather. She loves going to get a suntan. So for me, her style is it's summer. So I'm going to wear you know kind of loose clothes. I'm going to kind of show my arms and shoulders. I'm going to get some sun on my skin. She loves that. And even if, when it's really cold. No, no, no. If it's winter, <laughs> she'll just you know stay at home with a warm coat on. But I think of my grandma's style as being summer style. Now,、okay. one thing to add about my grandma when she was seventy. My cousin got her a tattoo of a butterfly on her shoulder. Wow! So she's certainly not kind of you know like oh those are for young people. She got a tattoo at the age of seventy. Wow! So that is an example of an elderly person living life to the fullest. So yeah, yeah. These these、uh, elderly people here they kind of sound like my grandma. She she lives her life to the fullest when she can.、Mm-hmm. So I would say my grandparents' sense of style is old. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, kind of、okay. classic or、yeah. kind of simple. Simple. Simple.、Mm. Okay. Simple but old. All right. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for listening today for English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Elsie. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Laundry. Edna opened a laundry where people could wash their clothes in machines and pay with coins. Recently, I haven't seen Paul much recently. He must be very busy these days. Increase. There's been an increase in the number of people who work from home at my job. Grandparent. I'd like to ask my grandparents about what my mother was like when she was a girl. Account. Hank closed his email account after he realized that someone else was using it. Elderly. Japan has a very large elderly population and far fewer young people. 智慧小补帖 Decline. Abandoned. Convince. The following program is by Huayong Kongzhou Meiyu. Huayong Kongzhou Meiyu Magazine. Please check out all the bookstores in the United States. If you are interested in buying a book, call us at 02-2364-4000. 零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。